Money up, brother. How are you? How are you? That will happen that you store, you put some tape on top. Well, <clears throat> gentlemen of the press, you are welcome to Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Schools of Forest State Command. Uh, as you all know, uh, the NSCDC uh, have legal act that give us the mandate to check make the activities of the private guard company nationwide. They are under our supervision, monitoring, and even the training within their facilities. So, since my assumption to duty today, I'm about to clock here in this command by next month. So this is when I came, it is only two uh, private guard company approached me with the issue of renewal of their license. So that's what remind me to check make the activities of the other ones to see whether they are licensed or not. Because we have almost 40 of them operating in Zampara State, generally. So, by doing so, we now come to understand that many, they have renewed their license. Very few among the 40 that were not renewed their license, which all of you were you witness, went around with my people, and those five we discovered they didn't redo their nursing. We seal their company. For that, to pursue them to go and pursue their license through my commander and national headquarters. Those five private companies were sealed. I think you see, we have. Uh, Elegant security. We have maximum alert security. We have nature guard. We have uh, Askego, Nigeria, and the Tola security services. These are the five companies we seal today. With the exercise we carry out that will enable them to go and renew their license and start operation fully in the state. You know, as we talk about these private guard companies, there is laid down rules and regulations that govern the, the private guard company. Before you issue this license, there is a lot of criteria you need to meet. When you meet up with the criteria before we even give you a license. So in that criteria, is now left for you to recruit people who are trustworthy, who serve people better. Because if we register your company 
at, at the end of the day, your members of the company found one thing you had to be held responsible. So they knew how they recruit their people. Our own is to supervise, to train, and regulate their activities. As the message we have for the private security companies is that uh, let them be up and doing, let them keep up sharing intelligence with the other sister agency, not only NACDC, because they have their own role to play in terms of security. It's not because uh, they are only guiding this place that the thing is that even the movement of people that are coming in and out, whether it is a hotel, whether it's a private, whatever it is, you need to keep the other securities informed. So that if there is any suspicious movement, the action will be taken. And for those that refuse to renew their license, we are calling them to go and renew their license. Otherwise, we will not allow them to operate any longer. I mentioned it earlier that we have about 40 companies, different 40 companies of the private security guard operating as a parastate. Some of them had their, as I said earlier, some of them had their head office here, while some they are branches of other places. But they have branch here. So that's what makes the number to be 40. No, it's a continued exercise. Anybody that failed to do the needful will go after him. And very soon, I want to let you know that very soon we are going to commence the training of the trainer, uh, training and train of um, private guards. All of them in the state operating in the state we must meet their officers here for training and the training. Okay, uh, it may interest you to know, as of yesterday. The Honorable Minister of uh, Interior has inaugurated the Edman Committee in respect of this private company's issues for them to deliberate and come with the way forward how they are going to improve the services of the said uh, uh, private uh, company, private security companies in the country.